top asylum seekers continue to arrive here in New York City. Now, the Roosevelt Hotel is one of several places that has been transformed into a temporary shelter with buses dropping off and picking up migrants. More than 70,000 people have arrived in the city. 42,000 have been accommodated so far. As more migrants are sent to New York City, debate is heating up here in western New York. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello again. I'm Scott Levin. And political leaders, they are at odds now as to how to handle the situation if asylum seekers also come here to western New York. Join your side's Kelly Dudzik joins us tonight with some local reaction. Kelly? Several counties in western New York have already declared states of emergency ahead of asylum seekers potentially coming here. Erie County is not one of them, and that has caused political debate. As counties in western New York declared states of emergency over the migrant crisis at the southern border, Erie County Executive Mark Polenkars tweeted this weekend that he would not be declaring one, calling the orders both illegal and morally repugnant. That prompted his GOP opponent in this year's race to hold a press conference today, calling on him to issue an action plan. Either he knows something that we don't know, or he's being complicit and just blindly following whatever Governor Hochul advises. A spokesperson for polling cars declined our interview request today and told me this afternoon that nothing has changed from the administration's point of view, and until it does, the statement from the weekend will stand for itself. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown said as of now, he does not know of any plans for asylum seekers to come to the city. We've been in communication with the federal government, with the state government. Uh, you know, we have asked if there is any potential for asylum seekers to come here, for us to be notified. We have not been notified uh, that that is in the plan or that is happening at this point. We also spoke with a member of the New York Immigration Coalition, a statewide organization that advocates for immigrant and refugee communities across the state. And we know that as a community, when we welcome refugees and we welcome newcomers, um, we can all really thrive. Um, and we see that success from rebounding from population decline here in the city um, to seeing new businesses and revitalizing neighborhoods. And this morning, the governor was asked about this, saying she's grateful to people like Mark Polenkars, who she says understands that Buffalo's population has gone up because of refugees. She says it's a way to boost the population and build the economy. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.